first chapter earth as a planet what is planet planet is a celestial body which revolves around the sun solar system solar system is family of the sun members of the sun family are planet satellite asteroids meteorites and comets earth is the third planet in the solar system and it is considered as a unique planet now why earth is considered as a unique planet first abundance of water on the earth means that 71% of earth is covered by water so it is also known as blue planet or watery planet earth is composed of lithosphere hydrosphere and atmosphere that is land water and air on the earth life is possible because of essential gases like oxygen nitrogen and other noble gases which is not present on the other planets or their percentage is very less next optimum distance from the sun that is earth is neither too close nor too far from the sun it is at optimum distance like uh, we have a mercury which is very close to the sun the temperature is very high neptune which is very far from the sun the temperature is very less so life is not possible but earth is at optimum distance so life is possible and in short the earth supports life due to biosphere biosphere is a realm of the life and it is because of land water and air shape of the earth there is a lot of controversy about the shape of the earth earlier people believed that the shape of the earth is flat like a table they fear to go anywhere they thought that if they go in any of the direction they will fall down or they will go to hell or somewhere else like that So Christopher Columbus and Magellan tried to prove that earth is not flat but it is spherical in shape and for that they required a navigators very you know they are not able to get the navigators easily they tried and at last when they got they proved it that earth is not flat but it is a spherical in shape now the shape of the earth is described as an oblate spheroid or joint means it is not spherical it is like an orange flat from the top and bottom that is poles are flattened you can see in the picture and bulge near the equator bulge means coming out so little pressed from the top and bottom coming out from the side so that shape has been described as joint it is not spherical it is joint proofs of the earth shape there are number of theories have been given just to prove shape of the earth as a joint or spherical first all celestial bodies are spherical now all celestial body means like sun and moon which we can see through the naked eye they are spherical and the other planets if you see through telescope they also appeared spherical in shape so it's proof that earth is spherical or joint circum navigation of the earth magellan travel around the world and came back to the starting point so you can see in the map also he started from the europe and took the western direction reaching to southern part of south america then moved to the pacific ocean reaching to areas of uh, indonesia philippines and then indian ocean tip uh, southern tip of africa and back to europe so it proved that earth is spherical in shape or joint line of visibility increase with height it means that if you are standing near the beach or a coastal area and ship is coming from the opposite direction you will not see the ship hole which is visible above the water first you will see the smoke or a flag then the lower portion and then the bottom portion which is visible why because of the curved surface of the earth sunrise and sunset now 
sunrise and sunset if the earth is flat then what will happen all the places on the earth will have the light together that is sunlight together sunset will be together but as the earth is spherical only one part of the earth gets the light and other parts remain in the dark so this proves that earth is spherical in shape horizon is circular horizon means the place where the earth and sky touches each other meets each other so you can see here near the harbor sun uh, sorry sky and water is touching each other and if the earth is flat like table then what will happen they will run parallel to each other earth and sky will be parallel to each. as the earth is curved so it looks like that they are meeting at some certain point but as we reach there that meeting will not be there the earth surface is curved now in this what the sur uh, surveyors has done is that they took three poles of the same size and placed it at the same distance and tried to see each other that is from a to b to c but what happened they are not able to see a from c because b was little bit higher so this also proves that earth is spherical if the earth is flat they are able to see the top of each of the pole lunar eclipse now in this the position of the sun earth and moon when earth comes in between sun and moon it stops the light of the sun to reach to moon and then why this happens because of the shadow of the earth now if the earth is flat like a table or square or rectangular then we are able to see a part of a moon light but as earth is spherical we can't see or we are not able to see anything about the moon it is dark so it is a eclipse aerial photograph of the earth this picture has been taken from the moon and this shows that the lighted part shows that the daytime and the portion which is not uh, seen here is a dark that is a night and this lighted portion is a curved which is showing the spherical shape of the earth and this proves that earth is spherical in shape or joint in shape now if anything is not clear you can ask me i'll explain you okay thank you